Ladies and gentlemen, the longer I live on this earth, the more I start to learn about females and things of that nature. Now, I'm not going to sit there and tell you the good ducks got it all figured out, but I've come to a conclusion of sorts that, I bought, I, that I've been juggling for at least the last couple of months or so. You don't necessarily have to have a lot of money to get females. Right? Big ass revelation. But I kind of noticed that you could even be broke as hell in normal standards and still get with women, more specifically Filipinas and other women that are like, as long as you make them feel safe and secure. There is something about a woman feeling safe with a guy that transcends anything that money can buy. Yes, living a lavish life, having access to means and good finances, that's always going to be a major part of things. But if you can't make your woman feel safe and secure, she's always going to be vulnerable to other shit. She's always going to feel as though if she finds herself in a situation with a guy that kind of somewhat presents themselves in a alpha role, somebody who is in a position to be able to take care of and defend her or fight for her or whatever it requires, that man could be broke as fuck. And you could have all the money in the world be as rich as, you know, Jeff Bezos, Bill Gates, and, you know, Mark Zuckerberg and all of them. But if that woman does not feel secure and safe with you, I do believe that there is a high percentage chance that your money's not going to buy that loyalty. And she could very well find herself swooned, <laughs> swept up by the guy who presents themselves in a way that makes a woman feel safe and secure. This is one of these rarely known talked about subject matters, especially when it comes to topics of the Philippines, because a lot of guys are so focused on, bro, as long as I got the money, it doesn't matter. I can buy any girl that I want to, or I can be with any girl that I want to, because my money is going to get me into every door that I need to get to. Is that false? Nah, I wouldn't say it is. But there's this X factor, this variable that I think is overlooked, and that's the feeling of safety and security that a woman has with you. The fact that a woman can be next to you, be with you, and feel as though this man is going to be there to protect me, right? He's not going to hurt me, physically abuse me, but shit, he's going to be there to fight for me, not fight with me like that, right? And a lot of guys would be like, Doc, man, you, what, what the fuck are you talking about? What does this all mean? Why does this pertain to me? Or what does this have to do with me? Gentlemen, it has everything to do with you. Because one way or another, gentlemen, if you're looking to cohabitate and or be with a female in any capacity, I kind of feel like one of the main major factors or the X factors or the variables that you have to consider is how safe and secure that woman feels with you. And here is where shit gets deep, y'all. So I hope you made it to this part of the video. A woman won't fuck with you, sleep with you, or feel comfortable around you until you put her in a position to feel comfortable, right? I talked about touch barrier, wherein if you can establish touch barrier and when you physically touch her in any capacity, rub on the thigh, touch her on the small of the back, whatever it may be, and she doesn't jump or shiver or like, you know, have this really intense reaction to it, chances are she has gotten to the point where she is comfortable with you touching her, right? So safety and security doesn't necessarily have to come from the aspect of you being able to defend her and being this you know swole guy hitting the gym and you know ready to knock somebody out for her or defend her if necessary especially if it's just your girl i'm not asking you to jump into and or fight for some female you don't know especially when you don't know the situation but for somebody that is with you and somebody who is within your care and within your fold i don't care how many females you got as long as they all feel comfortable underneath you or feel safe and secure with you that plays that that is probably more or less a bigger X factor than the money that you have. So I do feel comfortable in saying that you could be broke as fuck, but if you make a female feel comfortable, safe and secure with you, chances are there is a high likelihood that she will remain with you because she's not going to have that safety and security with everybody. She's not going to be able to open herself up to everybody, right? Something I want you guys to marinate on. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, man. If you did, you already know what to do, man. Please feel free to share, like, comment, and subscribe. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been The Good Doc. And with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, Good Doc is officially out. At least not go by alum, which means I am going now. Bye-bye. As always, love you guys. Sincerely do. Makita. Bye-bye. Peace.